Long before modern science, some of humanity's first astronomers lived among the sandstone cliffs of Chaco Canyon. In 1097 AD, a Puebloan apprentice named Tayen stood with his mentor atop Pueblo Bonito. As the elder pointed to the horizon, he reminded Tayen that their great houses were aligned not just for shelter, but as a dialogue with the stars. The sun paints a perfect path on the solstice, Tayen realized. But even more, the spirals of the sun dagger mark the seasons on Fajada Butte, said the elder. Our people don't just walk the land, Tayen. We map the universe's pulse. Centuries later, in the 1960s, another chapter in indigenous ingenuity was unfolding. Cherokee engineer Jerry Elliott, a pivotal figure at NASA, poured over maps for the Apollo missions. In 1969, as humanity aimed for the moon, Elliot was mindful of the star mapping heritage of his ancestors. When Apollo 13 faced crisis in 1970, Elliot applied the precision his forebears used to align cities with the lunar cycle, aiding in the safe return of the astronauts. Once again, ancient wisdom met modern challenge. From Mayan calendars that predicted eclipses to Inuit star maps that guided Arctic journeys, indigenous knowledge has always been a thread between the Earth and the cosmos. These original sky architects mastered the stars long before telescopes turned skyward, revealing a legacy of celestial brilliance unmatched in any era.